Jesus, what's the matter? It's just another day, another black king captured. I'm about to lose my brain stuck inside this ghetto rapture. I got a lot of smoke. If you want it, you can have it. They want a hat trick, but this is black girl magic. Ain't talking about the kind that'll make you disappear, but I'm talking about the power of the melanin within. Ain't looking for trouble, but I'ma say this one time. I put two dupes up if you try to touch mine. We still want justice for Samir and Trayvon. You say you don't see color, but racism ain't blind. They targeting little kids whose skin look just like mine. So I'm paranoid, it's a war zone outside. And I'm a black queen, so if you ask me to step out of my car, you gon' have to snatch me. Cause I ain't going no damn well. Had to spend my whole life living unfair. Ancestors got my back and they right here. You can never understand, it's a nightmare. Living in my black shoes by the black rooms. You can keep your handshake, I don't dap too. The white man it go nuts if he catch you. But you all on his side like a damn fool. Make it make sense. We are oppressed. Queen. We are exploited. We are downtrodden. Make it Queen. make sense. We are denied not only civil rights, but even human rights. Human rights. Alma Dyer. So the only way we're going to get some of this Alma Dyer. oppression and exploitation Queen. away from us or aside from us is come together Queens. against the common enemy. Who taught you to hate the Alma Dyer? Your head? Oh my Parents, pay attention to the books, the school system, even to your little children. Lies, mixed with wisdom. His skin, too bright, so he was blind to the prison. My skin, just right, so I collide with the vengeance. You trying to pray to God, but we tied the religion. No savior saving, we got to save our savings. We used to pay this, how we gonna make the slave rich? But who's to blame and tell me why you complaining? We need a team ever just to rule the nation. Like a bad relationship, missing communication. We missing moderation. They're trying to get a poison to my population. No reparations. I'm getting tired of Satan. We are oppressed. We are I'm getting tired of waiting. We are downtrodden. Queens. We are denied not only civil rights, but even human rights. Alma Dyer. So the only way we're going to get some of this Alma Dyer. oppression and exploitation. Queens. Touch one of my new sons. They show no love for the queen. Why they hate 
no me. Is it cause I'm free and I got Malcolm X in my jeans and I got... All right, let's All get right. into it. Let's get into All it. right, thanks everyone All for right. tuning back in once again to the Black Queen Amadai Shakur TV, TV show. I'm your host, Queen Amadai Shakur, and this is your second morning wake up call. So, so as you're coming in, please feel free to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Be sure to click the notification bell and click the word all so you're notified each time the Queen Goddess goes live. All right, with that all being said. Kimberly says, Kimberly says, uh, hey queen, do you still have your true crime channel? I can't find it. Needs to binge again. Um, I still have it. I haven't posted on there in a minute. I'm glad you brought that up because I have some stuff I need to post on that channel, beloved. Yes, I still have it. Moderators, please drop the link uh, to the true crime channel, please. Okay, that crazy bitch era says the real Nancy Drew of journalism is here. I thank you, beloved. All right, it's so Reggie is here, Queen Sam. Sam. All right. Oh, right. <laughs> Queen Sam said, yeah, Queen, we Queen ran right over, over. okay? Right over. Timber Dan in the house, Timber Laverne, Wavy, Laverne, though, Nausea is here, Nasha. the Prince of Paraphernalia, Root Trackers, that Crazy Beach Aries, Buck Horse DC, Stacey Quinn, Christopher. All right, Vince, I am from the UK, Deronda. All right, let's get into it. RG Titan Edward. Queen Christina is in the house. Bithia is here. All right, let's get to an Aboriginal woman. I see you, Stacy. All right, Mary Searcy is here. Latasha, Claudette. Shout out to everyone chatting, everyone too in between. Y'all know I love me some royals. All right, and shout out to all of the new members to the channel. Antoinette, I see you below. Okay, so, and thank you all for the cash apps. All right, I keep forgetting. I don't thank you all enough, but thank you for the cash apps and the gifts that you send me. I really appreciate you. Okay, so now let's talk about it, honey, because they are mad but hurt and it's all crazy. First of all, let's talk about how they're saying that it's fake news. They're saying that it's they're fake it's news. Fake I just want y'all to pay attention. To pay All attention. right. All right. They said they it's said fake it's news. Fake let's news. Let's get into it, honey. Okay. Um, first, let's go um, to that article about it. All right. Here's what they say. All right. Here's what they say. False black Jesus. False black Jesus. All fake news. All fake news. Post falsely Post claims falsely videos claims show videos Russian president show saying Russian Jesus president was black. Saying Jesus Okay, this is what they're saying. Okay, this is false. Let me, Let me just show you all. Let me just show you all the receipts, honey, because they just the so mad. Please don't, mad. Please don't be mad. I mean, like, why is everybody I mean, mad about the truth? Mad about the truth. Why is everybody but her get out of shape about the facts? About about reality, about honey. This reality. is all crazy. You know, it's 2024. All things are coming to fruition. Okay, all things are being shown and revealed. See that? The big old false on there, honey. Please pay attention. That's from the fake fact check. That is from the fake fact check. I just want y'all to pay attention. Now, now. So anyway, they're saying that it's so not anyway, true. It's not true. Putin didn't say Jesus Putin was black. Well, here's the thing. I need you all to pay attention to how they play with semantics. Here's another one right here. Fact check. Let me show you all this. I just got to show y'all a couple of these receipts because this is what they're posting all over the media. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Fact check. Video does Fact not show Putin saying Jesus show was black. Jesus okay, well, here's the thing. Okay, the reason I say they're playing the with semantics is because, no, Putin may not have literally Putin said out of his mouth that Jesus was black, but, black. but on the video, he but shows a black Jesus. Jesus. I'm sorry. Why do you have to say it when it's obvious, it when the truth is right there before your eyes? Okay? Please pay attention. All right? All right? This is all so crazy. And listen, I want everyone to be careful of what you put in the chat because YouTube will snatch your channel. Okay, don't put anything racially charged in my chat. Don't do it. The moderators will delete it and you'll be given a warning. If they have to warn you more than once, they'll just block you from the channel or put you, they'll put your time out first. And then after that, should be blocked. Okay, we don't need Putin telling us that Jesus is black. We already knew this. Well, here's the thing. We knew it, but some other people don't. Some black people, in fact, didn't know it, beloved. We knew some of us. 
Those of us that are awakened into higher learning and know the truth of self. There's many of our people that are indoctrinated, so they don't know it. And I'm going to show you uh, one foolish black woman who was saying, we don't want no black Jesus and all this foolishness. I'm going to show you proof that some of us don't know it. But. And here's the thing. Let's not go in on Putin because Putin is a friend to Africa. Putin has never colonized Africa. Putin has never enslaved black folk. Putin has never oppressed black folk. At the end of the day, Putin has not done any of the nefarious things that the United States has done. And I want you all to pay attention to that because when the United States makes people our enemy or they try to make people our enemy, uh, these are absolutely the people that you should pay attention to. Okay? Because these are absolutely nine times out of ten people who absolutely do help black do help okay let's think about fidel okay, castro they tried to fidel demonize him fidel castro was working with malcolm x they're not going to tell you that okay uh even hitler said in a documentary called adolf hitler the greatest story never told for those of you who missed it he even said that there was uh he told his soldiers in the, in the documentary he told his soldiers that america has in their possession god's jewels j-e-w-e-l-s he said the negro he said the negro okay the okay. Negroes are the real the youth. Negroes that's what y'all to pay attention. That's, that's what he said. So when they sit there and tell you certain things, really, please make your own decisions and do your own research. So just listen to them. That's why we're in the predicament that we're in right now from listening to the lies and the indoctrination. Uh, R.G. Tyne said Gaddafi as well. Exactly. They acted like Gaddafi was such a mean, uh, terrible dictator and all of this. And then Hillary, Obama gave Hillary the okay to give NATO, you know, permission to go over there and do what they did to Gaddafi. And then all of a sudden, 144 Tons of his gold comes up missing. And then there's video footage the services of U.S. soldiers putting those gold bars in their bag and stealing it. Okay. Please pay attention. All right, please pay attention. They are so nefarious. Yes, they absolutely demonized that man. Good doctor, they absolutely did. So that all being said, let's get into these receipts. First of all, let me start by telling you all. Um, that some um, of our people of are our absolutely people blind to the truth. Because in, because, because in 1969, and, and here's the thing, I saw someone say they've been knew that Jesus was black. Yes. Black. yes. Like I said, those of us like who are awakened and know who we are, we already knew that. But back in the day, in the 70s, the they were showing us on good times. Remember when they had the black Jesus that JJ painted and Florida being the raccoon that she was on the show. Did y'all ever notice that Florida was a whole raccoon on that show? Because she clearly was. So she didn't want the black Jesus. She made to take it down and put her white Jesus up. And then that time when James found that $22,000 in the brown paper track, a brown paper bag, she made him turn it in. Even though he found it somewhere like in an alley, it was probably when somebody stole it or whatever. But she made James turn it back James in, broke because they weren't living in the projects and struggling. I find it also interesting. Florida was a hot mess. Please pay attention. <laughs> Please pay attention. Now, with that all being said, here's the thing that made black folk mad in 1969. This is y'all people. This is y'all people. This is what y'all people got mad about in 1969. Did I say 79? I meant 69. 1969, Ebony Magazine published an, an, uh, an issue with a black Jesus trying to show black people the truth. But indoctrinated black people who suffer from cognitive dissonance and Stockholm Syndrome were so angry and butthurt that they demanded that it be taken out, that issue canceled, and they said otherwise they would cancel their subscriptions. Ebony almost went out of business. Was all I'm saying. They almost went out of they business for posting the truth by their own people. It wasn't the white folk that was complaining about it. It was black people. I just want you all to pay attention. Okay? The, the foolishness that some of us still engage in. Okay? Some of us don't know the truth, even though the proof in the pudding is right before our eyes. Now listen to this. Every magazine was almost put out of business. Why? Uh, they published the article or they published an issue March of 1969 of Ebony Magazine with a black Jesus on the cover. So many in the black community were upset to the point of threatening to cancel their subscriptions. They sent Johnson publishing pictures of what some call uh, the true white Jesus. That's what they sent them. Tell them this is a true Jesus right here, honey. Self-hate is real. 
Okay, I want you to pay attention. Okay, now, in 2013, now, in 2013, uh, in 2013, uh, in 2013 has anything, has anything has changed? Because this article is from, from 10 years ago. In 2013, has anything changed in black America about worshiping a, a black Jesus? Is a white Jesus still the only picture of the true Jesus for black folks? In early responses to this posted, I read lots of responses from awakened, awakened people calling those ones, those uh, 1969 responses to the Ebony cover the actual of rap cones. That's what it was. I want y'all to pay attention. I'm not going to disagree, but the problem is much more complex than most people believe. The indoctrination of white Jesus into the minds of black people is one of the most successful psychological warfare programming in history. I told you all this before. I told you that the biggest symbol, the biggest emblem of wanted supremacy is the fictitious image of a white Jesus. It gives you the white savior complex. It makes you look to them and adore them more so than you do yourself, more so than you do your own. You would be easily willing to go out and do something nefarious to your own than to do something to one of them. And that is because they have been shown to us as being uh, the descendants of the Savior, okay? Of the Savior looks like them. That's what has been indoctrinated into our people's minds. Beginning in slavery. Beginning now, critically slavery. think now, critically and ask think. yourself the following ask question. Ask the following if everything question. of substance everything was taken away from the slaves, from such as reading, slaves, culture, slaves, language, etc., why, why, why was Christianity allowed? Christianity mm -hmm. Please pay attention. Mm -hmm. Okay, the true reason okay, the true why reason. the white slave why masters white and white colonizers of Africa found it necessary to convert black people into Christians. Why did they find that necessary? Black people were not given the Christian religion because whites wanted to save our souls in order that we black people may share heaven with them in the afterlife. We know this is to be irrefutably true because during the time when whites were converting black people into Christianity, most of them perceived that the black people were inferior, that they did not truly even possess souls, that they were three fifths of a human. In fact, during the early period when whites were converting black people into Christians, they at the same time declared black people as not being fully human. But of these perceived reasons, the colonizers and masters believed that black people actually could never truly enter the kingdom of their perceived white heaven, okay, in an afterlife because of their racist low opinions of, of black people. Uh, those same people converted our ancestors to Christianity. Actually, uh, they believed that the thought of a black person entering into heaven was as ridiculous as saying that a dog would enter the kingdom of heaven. Okay, I want you all to pay attention. Now, when we honestly, logically, and critically look at the fact that we that we can easily say uh, with great certainty that the slave masters and colonizers were not trying to save the souls of black people when they taught them the Christian religion. The truth of the matter is that the Bible was used uh, to subconsciously brainwash the Africans during the enslavement of the, Amer of the Africans in America and the colonization of African black people. Oh, they were given a Christian religion that taught them to believe in only only white deities, a white God, a white Messiah, white angels, and white prophets. The reason for this was to instill the myth of white divinity into their collective minds, okay, the African slaves, that is. These depictions of the white only deities were deliberately done to consciously indoctrinate the false belief of white divinity and therefore superiority into the minds of the African slaves. Okay, please pay attention. Whoever controls your concept of God controls you. To establish and then protect their positions of white dominance, the slave masters and colonizers believe it was necessary to instill the belief of white divinity into the minds of black people. Now, the images of a white son of God intentionally makes the logical assumption that uh, the son, uh, if the son of God is white, then God the Father must also therefore be white. This logical conclusion has resulted in many black people consciously worshiping a white God. The white colonizers and enslavers knew that by teaching black people to consciously worship a white Messiah and white God that it also caused them to subconsciously worship or at the very least admire white people. To consciously worship a white God is to subconsciously worship white people. And let me tell you something about subconsciousness. For those of you who follow my spiritual channel, you know that I've told you numerous of times that the subconscious mind controls 95% of everything that we do and think about.
okay, our cognitive okay, biases, our cognitive bias. okay, all of these okay, things are these controlled things by the subconscious mind, whether you mind. know it or not. Whether you so, know even or not. If, so even if, once you have been indoctrinated, you have been indoctrinated and brainwashed, brainwashed so to speak, uh, with a particular thought, a idea, particular or belief, thought, idea, or belief, it is belief. very difficult very to take difficult that from your mind. It is very difficult to pluck that out of your head because it is deeply ingrained and embedded in the subconscious mind. And this is what they knew. And this is what they knew. This is what they knew. This is what they knew. Now, so with that all being said, the belief of a white that a white Jesus died for black people also subconsciously instilled uh, within the collective black conscious a feeling of indebtedness to a white messiah. This white worshiping religious religious indoctrination process was also used to make the African slaves docile, humble, and more loyal to their masters. And here's why. Let me just explain that to you. Because you see, because you see. In the, Bible, in the Bible, which they have transliterated they themselves and changed certain things and left out certain books and all of that, okay, um, at the end of the day, it tells you to turn the other cheek. The Old Testament tells you an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth, but in the New Testament, it says turn the other cheek. So which is it? You see, they put that in there to make you be docile. Okay, that's what that was for to make the slaves die. Just, just turn the other cheek. Go ahead and let them do it to you. Go ahead and let them okay, do this is what God wants. This is what Jesus said. Be docile. That's what that was all about. Okay, at the end of the day, it was all just something to keep them from fighting back and also to make them feel like they're in their uh, their, their bondage. Their bondage was fine with God. Because here's the thing, because here's the thing, they say, they say. In the, Bible, it says, In the Bible, it says, servants, obey, servants, your, masters. obey your masters. That's what it tells you in the Bible. That's servants, Bible. Obey, servants your master. obey your masters. So when you're reading that, so if you're a you're slave, reading or they're reading that, that to you, reading and then that makes you feel like, okay, you're supposed to do what the master tells you. You're not supposed to go against master. But here's the truth of the matter. In the Bible, when it talks about how the Egyptian Pharaoh enslaved the Hebrew Israelites, which was God's chosen people, God told Moses at the burning bush, go. Go tell Pharaoh to let my people go. And so when Moses went to tell Pharaoh what God said and Pharaoh did not comply, and then God sent the plagues upon him. So you have to ask yourself, does God really condone slavery? Well, of course not. Well, of course not. Okay, of course not. Of course not. And people who tell you such things, they only give you parts of the Bible that fit their narrative. Uh, so from the perspective so of the slave masters, 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 this religious brainwashing process, brainwashing uh, perpetuating uh, white divinity, white made, white the made the Africans into better slaves. Moreover, this brainwashed Moreover, condition of black people has been left un un uncorrected un un and unremoved for, un un for generations. Some of you all are still Some brainwashed, still indoctrinated, and, indoctrinated and, and suffer from cognitive dissonance as well as Stockholm Syndrome. That's why some of you will protect and defend the very ones that oppress you. Please pay attention. Now, with that all being said, um, um, the effects of that brainwashing that scheme, brainwashing initially scheme, implemented initially more than 400 years ago, still, years continues, ago, still upon continues upon the mind of millions of African Americans. It is the reason why you can presently visit many black churches and find its walls stubbornly adorned with pictures of only white deity. Uh, to consciously worship a white God is to subconsciously worship white people. Okay? Uh, so, and I got this information from the book, uh, The Black Matrix by Franklin Jones. Okay? Because I read a lot. So I took this excerpt, this information, I typed this up from there. All right. So, all right. With, with that all being said, they try to tell y'all it's fake news and all of this. Like I told you, the plan was semantics. And so now let's get into it. Now let's get into it. Queen Sam said we suffer from PTSD, which is another reason we deserve our reparations. Absolutely. But we're not going to get it. That's just the fact. We're not going to get it. People have lied to us for decades and centuries. They're not going to give us anything to compensate, beloved. Okay. So with that all being said. So with that all being said. Uh, let's talk about it. I'm going to show you a video of Karen. Karen said Putin pulled out his dusty black Jesus. I'm she was so mad. I want you all to pay attention. Like up, everyone. Please like and share. Well, before actually, before I show Karen, let me show you all uh, Putin's unveiling. And for those of you who follow the Queen, I told you all, like I said, I told you all this months ago. Months ago. Hold on. Make sure I pull up the right video. 
The likes up, everyone. Please like, like and share. Thank you in advance. Like and share. Thank you in advance. Okay, this is the video that I showed you all months ago. For those of you who remember, this is the first video of Putin that I showed you all months ago. Now, and then I'm going to show you the recent one. I, I showed you all months ago who literally worshiping a black Jesus, black deities. You all remember that? Today, Vladimir Putin reveals to the world a secret that European has been hiding from African for more than a millennium that Jesus was black. Jesus was black. You know, there's a lot of Arabic people and Palestinian people, a lot of people over there with blue eyes and reddish brown hair. I don't, I don't know where they got it from over there in the Middle East. I'm sure it was some kind of gene, gene. Just like being black like and just being like being white, like it has to do with your genes, color of your eyes. I'm sure we can find eyes. out. Sure find but Putin but and Putin dusting Putin off his black Jesus from the Kremlin attic, that is one heck of a 
Why are we just finding out? We just finding out? Did I think Jesus Did was think blonde Jesus and blue eyed? I didn't, really I didn't really care. I didn't really care. I do care about my wig though. My, though. my hair's looking. Oh, my hair's it's looking time for a do. It's time for a do. But anyway, get back. Mr. Putin. Mr. Putin. You drew the race card. The now race what you gonna card. do with it? You, do you got all these black all people, these black people excited, that excited that you have a picture. You have a picture of a black. Jesus, you're saying Jesus, black. You're saying to black. me, sir, it just to looks me, like just a looks dark like Jesus. A dark because I don't know what kind of paint or colors or whatever they had over there. But they had to have something for black. Something for was, black. It was it coal? What was it? What was it? Anyway, Mr. Putin, you're sneaky. You're sneaky. You're gonna nuke us, aren't you? You're gonna nuke us, aren't you? You're just doing something to hurt the whole world before you nuke us all. I don't know. I don't know. Does it matter what color Jesus is? Is this going to change what? going to change what? What he does for us? After we've been worshiping him. I don't worship a picture. Never have. I'm not Catholic. I'm not Catholic. Mr. Putin. Mr. Putin, what do you think what you're doing? Do you think you're doing to Joe? To Joe, hurting his feelings. Hurting his feelings. No, no, I did not vote for I Joe. Vote for anyway, black people, anyway, black people, I'm happy for you. Something ought to make you happy. Make I mean, you come on now. I mean, come on now. Cause y'all been really y'all upset, been for, really years, upset huh? for years, huh? I hope I hope this I helps hope you. This just like when I voted for Obama, because I was hoping he would be a great president for the blacks, so they could so stop being so racist against so white racist people, because they think the white people invented, the white invented slavery when actually it was the black. Anyway, I don't want to go there. But Mr. Putin, you drew out that race card, and I want to know why. All right, she said he drew the race card, honey. I want you all to pay attention because she contradicted herself. Okay, she contradicted herself clearly. Uh, she said, Tony Curtis said he'll Billy Karen, okay? Now, she contradicted herself for the simple fact. She said she doesn't care what color he is. It doesn't matter, okay? Did she think he was blonde-haired, blue-eyes? She never cared. At the end of the day, it's not going to affect anything, whatever. Here's the thing. Anytime someone says that Jesus is black, people who look like Karen, the people who think like Karen, shall I say, because all people who look like her don't get upset. And I'll show you that with some videos. But... The but people who think like her, they always like want to say it doesn't matter, it but it does matter. matter. But it does and I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. Because first of all, first when they of show you when they show an you image that doesn't image look like you, doesn't look like and they tell you that's your God, you that's your then God. that makes you, that as, makes I you as I already told you, uh, you basically uh, worship and praise the people who don't look like you and be more docile to them. Okay, then you are to yourself. It can fill you with self hate. Another thing is here's the thing. The These thing. people who have These fooled the world fooled and had this uh, had false this, image, uh, of Jesus image of Jesus and have been mistreated and, and oppressing and, and even enslaved the people, the people that Jesus really looks Jesus like. Really looks like. Oh, yeah, they're going to have they're gonna consequences have for that. Consequences. There, will there will be consequences for all of that. For all of that. Okay? Okay. At the end of the day, at when you end realize end, that the you very people you've been oppressing, been, been oppressing, deleting, and been doing deleting, such wicked and nefarious things to, looks like the most high Savior, which means they look like the most high God. Please pay attention. At the end of the day, you don't think there's going to be consequences? You don't think there's going to be consequences? Please pay attention. But let me just show you all this. Before I get into these other videos, I'm going to show you. Now, look at this. Now, look at this. You see that? You see that? This, this is where they got the picture of Jesus the from. The guy in the black cap in the black is Jose Borgia. Borgia. We call him Caesar, the Caesar, Caesar Borgia. Caesar Borgia. Caesar Borgia. Caesar Borgia. That's how we've been pronouncing it. But it's actually Shazar Borgia. Okay? This was Leonardo da Vinci's boyfriend. Okay, Leonardo da Vinci, da Vinci's boyfriend and the son of Pope the VI. Now, the son of Pope the VI wanted to fool people into believing that he was God. And so, therefore, he had his son's picture painted by his boyfriend, Leonardo da Vinci, uh, to depict the Savior as being white. Okay? 
for, for those of you who don't know, but here's the thing. Don't know, but here's the thing. Now, I'm sure most now, of you already sure know this, at least you, you should. Know, least you but should. at the end of the but day, when we, day, when we talk about how Jesus looks, how Jesus in, the looks Bible, in the Bible, well, that, that description doesn't even fit. Doesn't even fit. Okay? That, that description does not even fit. Because what does it say about how he looked in the Bible? We'll get into that in a minute. But also, look at this. That's the Last Supper, also painted by Leonardo da Vinci. Now, where did he get these now, people from who posed for this? Pose well, for I'm so glad you asked I'm because so you see, he got this, he got these, these people from these prison. People from prison. These were prisoners. These were prisoners who were locked up. Who were locked up. Okay. Okay. He got them to sit he and pose as disciples. As disciples. And all of that, and I believe it was his cousin that he got to pose as Jesus. And not, not, uh, not his boyfriend. And this picture, he got his cousin uh, to pose as Jesus. That's what y'all pay attention. And what he also did, according to this article, which we can all clearly see, please pay attention. Hold on. Is he got people who specifically look like him? He liked he, he likely liked, used similar faces, use maybe similar even faces, to his own. Maybe, Most accounts claim that Most the Vinci's Last Supper uses the faces of actual people to stand in for the apostles' faces. Prisoners. It said that he lorded around jails uh, with the Melanie's with Melanie's criminals uh, to find an appropriate face and expression for Judas, uh, the fourth figure from the left, and the apostle who ultimately betrayed Jesus. Now he might even have painted himself in the wall mural, although it's never been proven. Some, been proven. Some art historians say that Da Vinci painted his own likeness as, likeness as that of St. James. Okay? Either okay. that or Either that the apostle or looked like, apostle looked a lot like, like, the a painter. Lot like the painter. He clearly painted himself. Clearly that's painted what he did. Himself. Okay? That's, that's what he did. So, I just want you all to pay attention. And another thing about Caesar Borgia. About Caesar Let me just tell you all some more about Caesar Borgia. Or Chazé Borgia. For those of you who have his picture hanging on your wall, because that's who it is. Um, at the end of the day, he raped his sister. His sister. And murdered his and brother, murdered his brother, was in a relationship with Leonardo, relationship da Vinci, with Leonardo da Vinci, and he also had siblings. And he also had siblings. I can't make this stuff up. I can't make this it's all true. He also had siblings. True. He also had siblings. Okay, that's probably what he died from, because back then they didn't have a cure. History doesn't recount history doesn't who gave Shazar Borgia siblings, uh, but we do uh, know we do when know and where he got it. In the summer of, of 1497, he was a 22-year-old cardinal, a sent as papal legate to his, to his by his father, Pope Alexander the Sixth, to crown the King of Naples and broker a marriage for his sister Lucretia. Naples was a city rich in co uh, in convents, convents. I'm sorry, convents and brothels. Okay. Uh, so, okay. but it was uh, also so, ripe with, with disease. Two years earlier, Two a French years invasion earlier, force, French invasion force included, included, including mercenary troops mercenary back from the New World, from had, the dallied world. A while, had dallied a while, had dallied a while to, to enjoy their victory. And when victory. they left, and carried they something, left, unexpected something unexpected and deadly back and home deadly with them. And let me just prove my point on that. See, here's how they carried something here's deadly back home. It was filth and home. nasty filth and just and all, kinds all kinds of disgusting things going on back then. Going on back okay? Then. Uh, so okay. let me just show you the, so let me just the show video you that the tells video you some insight on, into some that. Why, then in this, Why, video, this video, you will learn. You will learn. And I've had this video for a while. I'm just waiting for the opportune time to show it to you all. And so it goes along with this. Now, in this video, you will learn why they created high heels and perfume. Okay, please stay attention. Can you believe it? High heels were invented to avoid stepping in poop. Perfume was created to mask the stench of feces. And princess dresses were designed for easy public urination and defecation. Yes. This all took place in what we think of as the Romantic era of medieval Europe, which was far dirtier than you might imagine. The streets and even the Grand Versailles Palace were littered with human waste. Walking down the street, you'd better carry an umbrella, lest you get hit by falling excrement. Noble women, adorned in their splendid, voluminous princess gowns, would simply relieve themselves where they stood, especially during long banquets, 
leaving behind quite the unsanitary scene. To combat the pervasive odor, King Louis XIV of France, who wasn't fond of bathing, popularized the use of perfume to cover up both body odor and the smell of feces, making it a sought-after luxury among the aristocracy. Additionally, Europeans invented high heels and stockings to keep their feet clean from the muck, with the tallest heels reaching up to 50 centimeters, illustrating the depth of the filth on the streets. The prevailing feudal mindset, which held that everything, including dust and waste, was created by God, led people to see public urination and defecation as something not to be ashamed of, but rather a point of pride. This, combined with the high population density and the absence of indoor plumbing, turned entire cities into veritable cesspools. No wonder Voltaire remarked on this era as dirty and barbaric, highlighting the stark difference between the idealized view of medieval Europe and its grimy reality. you all to pay attention that's why they got high heels and back then they had some like 50 inches high is that what he said also discussing now you know where all the disease and smallpox and bubonic plague and all that stuff came from please pay attention all right they love to talk about africa don't they they love to talk about africa now with that all being said i'm going to share with you a video of a black woman who looks like me talking loud and wrong okay she's going in on food Putin's the last person Putin's she should be going in, get going in on. She's going in on food. Right? It says it does matter. Absolutely. Okay. Now she's going in on food. And she said, we don't want black Jews. We want reparations. We want this. We want that. Yeah, we do want that. But at the end of the day, Putin unveiling black Jesus doesn't have anything to do with reparations. Putin's all the way over in Russia. He's their president. He has nothing to do with us, nor has he ever enslaved black folk, colonized black folk, or any of those things that the United States, the West, United has done. The West. Okay, please pay attention. Okay, please pay attention. We're gonna share my screen. Thank, share you my screen. Thank you in advance. Thank you in advance. Get those likes up, beloved. Thank you. Up, beloved. Thank you. Nah. I don't know what is going on out there. <laughs> if y'all on your P's and your Q's with Russia and Putin want to embrace this black Jesus thing. See, y'all got to understand the trick of the devil. They don't want to talk about what was done to the people. We just going to sweep that under the rug. You got me? We're not going to talk about that. We're not going to bring that up. We're not going to give them people back what belongs to them, what we stole from them, what was stole from them, who abused them, who was unfair with them, who unalived them, who was unjust with them. We ain't going to talk about that. We just going to talk about we're going to embrace a black Jesus now. No, we want back what was taken. We want our stuff. And we don't want to hear this embracing that y'all wasn't embracing when we was embracing all of them. Then it's going outside our head, hanging from trees. You know what I'm saying? Our women being raped, children being fat to alligators. Anybody want to embrace none of that. But now they want to embrace black Jesus. No, we not going to do that. I get somebody else to do that, Putin. What we going to do is give the people their land back, give the people their spiritual religion back, which all is siphoning. You're going to give the people back all of their money. That went to the corporation, Putin. Do not come, Putin. Y'all better see the trick, the trick of the devil. That's what y'all gotta do, see the trick of the devil. Because I'm about to deal with one right child. She's gonna act like she don't see me here with this truck. If that damn thing wasn't crossed that, that wasn't crossed that. Okay, I've heard enough of her foolishness. Now, I want you all to pay attention. Yes, I said she's loud and wrong because she's talking so loud and she thinks she's really saying something. But really, she's saying nothing because at the end of the day, why is she talking to Putin? Why is she talking to Putin? Did Putin steal our land? Does Putin owe us reparations? No, he doesn't. So why is she talking about the trick of the devil? 
the trick of the devil has already been done. The trick of the devil was to make people like her believe and receive that the Messiah doesn't look like her, isn't of her skin tone. I want you all to pay attention to the foolishness of it all. Okay? Now, she really thought she was saying something. She really sounded like she was saying something. She sounded so ridiculous. Okay? Sounded so ridiculous. Go in on Putin. Girl, save that for Joe Biden. All right? That's who you need to be talking to. Joe Biden. Why is she talking about Putin? Anyway, I digress. But anyway, let me continue because here's some continue. more um, footage of what people had to say, had to say in, fact in fact about, about Black Jesus. Black Please, Jesus. Pay Please pay attention. And yet another and image yet of your Pope in front of our Black, our black King, King, Jesus, Jesus, Iesus, Iesus. And it's not Yeshua, guys. It's not Yeshua, guys. And that's the Hebrews have messed y'all up with that name. I'm gonna do a whole new video on that. Video on that. Jesus. 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 It's your Messiah. It's your Messiah. I understand waking I understand up from the matrix is, is not an easy thing to do. We've been lied to our entire We're life. To our entire We've been psyop and misled about everything. Every book has been rewritten. Every painting has been repainted. Things have been buried. Things have been moved. All in an effort to deceive us. It is truly my belief that Tartaria was the thousand year reign of Christ. And it's been covered up. It's been covered up. Never talked about. Never talked about. And it's just now coming just out now because, coming as out. the Bible says, there's the nothing says that is there's buried that will not be uncovered. Not be uncovered. The truth is coming the out is slowly. Coming out slowly. But we're starting to get more and more puzzle more pieces, more puzzle pieces of, the of the timeline that we're living in right now. Satan didn't want us to Satan know the timeline we were in. He wanted us to think that we were heading into. Destruction and, destruction and evil, and evil where, where that's their end, that's game. Their end game we the we, meek of the, the earth of the are earth about, to inherit, about to inherit it because the new heaven the new and the heaven new earth, and the new earth are, coming in. are coming in there's a Christ consciousness Christ that's coming consciousness in coming causing, in, an, awakening causing an, awakening an awakening on a massive scale massive around the whole scale world I'm just one vessel just that the Holy Spirit works Holy through Spirit to bring the truth to, to you. The truth to you. So I understand so this I is understand <clears throat> very hard very to wrap hard your mind wrap around your because mind of the religious the dogmas, religious we've, been dogmas we've been sold since we were children. We were children. But I'm trying to bring I'm the truth to, to you truth as, softly as, as softly as I can. As I can. Because there's going to be a lot of information lot of coming information out in the future, in the future that is going to be mind blowing for a lot of people, and people they're going to have to absorb it in a very short period of time. So I'm trying to soften so that blow soften for you guys, for you guys and, let you know and let you know that we've been deceived. We've been deceived. So I'm here to teach you so to teach also, you also what, Jesus taught, what you, Jesus taught you, not what church not teaches what you, church religion, teaches you religion, or the Vatican, or the Vatican, because they're lying because to you. Jesus called them liars, liars, hypocrites, hypocrites vipers, vipers. Told them that their father was the father, father was, the, father was the, devil, the devil, the father of all lies. He's been a murderer and a liar since the beginning. He didn't like the church leaders like of his day, and they haven't changed haven't very changed much very because they're still much. preaching they're still the same doctrine. The same doctrine. And I'm here to break I'm the matrix break for you guys. The matrix for you guys. You have to be an exemplary type of stupid exemplary to believe that Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus Christ the King, was a Christ black. African Black, Nubian man, African a Sub-Saharan African, African man. Sub African Let's go back to 10,000 10, BCE. 10, BCE. Anatolian farmer DNA. Anatolian farmer DNA. Here's, the modern, Here's the modern distribution, but Anatolian farmer DNA, Anatolian farmer DNA is coming from Anatolia coming here, from but it was also in the here, Levant. Also in if you're completely lacking any anthropological evidence or genetic research, or genetic 
and you just go on dogma from the internet, then sure, you could claim that anybody at all times was black. All of these white people in history were black. Arab people and Persian people were black. The Neo-Assyrians were black. The Hittites were black. But they weren't. Nazarene was Galilean and spoke Aramaic. Here's a person who speaks person Aramaic. Who speaks Aramaic. Does this person look sub-Saharan African to Saharan you? African. This is Thutmose III, the ruler, the ruler of Egypt who helped conquer the Levant. His lineage, including the Amenhoteps and then Akhenaten, do not look sub-Saharan African. They are not related to the Western Africans who make up most of America's African-American population. The Egyptian people are related to the people who ruled Egypt. There are also some European, also rulers, European rulers, but that's not here nor there. All those icons that those Putin icons is revealing Putin would be more Putin accurate if they were all portraying Romans. Romans. It would be more likely that Christ would see a bunch of Romans in his lifetime than he would see a bunch of West African people that look like modern African Americans. It wouldn't make sense, seeing as the Levant was consistently populated by European people and people who resembled like Egyptian and Middle Eastern people. So we live now in a world where AI is looking and studying everything we say. And I made some videos explaining who the people used to be in the Middle East, but uh, TikTok don't want it. They take it down because I don't stick to the new narrative, right? And now Putin in Russian uh, explains that... Uh, that, uh, that, the, that, the, that the Israelites are all black, right? Well, there was a Russian right. guy, he says, I speak Russian, Russian. this is not what Putin Russian. says Russian. at all. But at even all. if he even did say something like that. How many people, How many black people, people live black people even in Russia? I don't think even Russia. one, think maybe a handful, one, that's it, handful, that's right? right? Where do all the African Where black people black live, people right? Who are no longer in Africa, they live all in the Western nations. It's all to stir up hate right Eight towards right? us towards right us. so no these so was no, not middle eastern, eastern but if you even if you show them you the show caucasian them features the caucasian they still features. say oh it's ethiopian say, oh, it's ethiopians, ethiopians are ethiopians mixed are people <laughs> jesus was not a mixed <laughs> man mixed that goes man. against that goes scripture against right scripture. because right. it was because a sin was to a mix sin right mix so let's get real guys also Trump, also, there is an IA Trump, video from IA Trump, video from that Trump where he says that 144,000 black people are awakening and they will destroy the Kabbalah. That's nonsense. That's nonsense. That's nonsense. It's IA. It's IA. But people IA. run away with it. Right? So let's right, so keep it let's real. Real. Okay, I want you all to pay attention. I'm sorry I didn't realize that at the end that I was doing something else. Uh, so you see that? <laughs> and here's the thing. There are some people that look like me. I saw at least one man did a video saying that this was divisive. Saying, oh, they're trying to separate us. They're trying to be divisive. First of all, I'm sorry. Since when does the United States need help in being divisive? This country has always been divisive. That's why they should be called the divided snakes, not the United States. Okay, they've always been divisive. At the end of the day so that makes no sense some people are just clearly foolish and brainwashed like i told you and sadly some of these are our own people sadly some of these are our own people now let me go to this video footage of a karen who almost fainted when she found out that jesus was black please pay attention and she also kept trying to deflect talk about didn't black people enslave, enslave themselves and all this okay here we go okay, that's what that is in the center of the street right there monument right there. Oh, yeah. That is the yeah. Market Square House. That is a commemoration yeah. of God yeah. keeping his promise in the Bible that the Israelites will have to go into slavery. I didn't say that. What I'm saying is, I didn't say that. What I'm saying, they sold many things there. They sold many, they sold food there, etc., etc. What I'm telling you is that God said that his people go to slavery by way of a ship. The bill doesn't have any water here. That would mean that, that would mean the people that, that were sold there were sold got there. dropped that off at the port, the coast, Wilmington, uh, uh, Charleston, Charleston, South Carolina, Virginia, etc., and they had to make different had stops. Make different stops. And they said there they will be they sold there, will to who? Unto your enemy. Different. You're going to be sold by the people that are going to have your woman. 
you're going to travel down to other places, parts and places of what you call the Americas. Read. Read on. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bond women. Read. And, and no man shall buy you. So in the Bible, God told the whole world, because everybody has an opportunity to read this book, told everybody who the Israelites are. And you just found out that who are the true Israelites. So called, you said what? But who, but who are the who? So called black people are what? Who are the Israelites? Who are the Israelites? Admit it. Say it. Say it. They are the children of God. Who? 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 talked about the We've age of Aquarius and all of those things. All okay, things. so with okay. that all so being said, I find it all so interesting, but here's one last video. Um, this is, I think, a couple of videos, okay? So please pay attention. So please pay attention. 
did Putin really just did talk, about, really black talk Jesus? about black Jesus? And if so, then why isn't the, so, the whole world talking about this? Everyone's seeing a bridge Everyone collapse. Seeing Everyone's bridge seeing Diddy's house being raided. Listen. We stand on the precipice of a monumental revolution. A moment that defines not only our understanding of history, but also the path forward for our great nation. In an extraordinary discovery hidden beneath centuries of lore and legend, we have opened what can only be described as the oldest vault known to mankind. What we found within its ancient confines challenges the very fabric of our beliefs and heralds a new dawn for our country. Within this vault, we discovered figures of bi biblical proportions, characters that many have read about, debated, and revered. These figures, preserved against the sands of time, reveal a truth that is as profound as it is transformative. They are all black. This revelation, this undeniable truth, stands before us not as a contradiction to our faith, but as a testament to the diversity and unity that faith embodies. As your president, I see this moment not as a challenge to our beliefs, but as an opportunity to embrace a wider, more inclusive understanding of our history and spirituality. So when I searched on the so internet, I, on the internet I, kept I kept finding that everything was false. Everything it's false. It's false. It's false. It's false. It's but false. isn't that but how isn't most that things are that are actually true? Are actually true? Comment yeah. below what you think about, about Black Jesus. And what do I think? I think that it doesn't matter what color Jesus was. He died for our sins. And I love going on y'all so vladimir putin he went uh he was at a press conference and whatnot and he released a bunch of images of a bunch of black um biblical people even a black jesus so let me get y'all's uh thoughts on it it's tripping about the video that i'm posting but just look at this picture right here look at this picture right here and look at this one. Let's see. You see the nose. It has a big nose. So you know, not. I'm not being racist, man. I'm just saying, man. You know, I'm just talking about features. Talking about features. And then, I mean, you see that. That one looks kind of like European style. I'm not gonna lie. And then this one right here looks like it is Jesus right here. And um, I don't know. Now, obviously, I can't now, give you a for sure answer and tell you, oh, yes, answer, this is Jesus, like, oh, yes, yada, yada, yada. But one thing that I can one say I is, can as, say a Muslim, is as a Muslim, we believe, we believe that Moses was a black man. And Jesus, we believe Jesus, Jesus was a black man, too. I mean, when you I look mean, at, even when you read you certain Bible read verses, Bible when it talks verses, about um, the feet of Jesus Christ of were Jesus bronze, what does that tell you? So me personally, I have no so idea where the hell this no person came. This, person this came. is not Jesus. This is, not Jesus. This is just a white this man with a beard. A with a beard. And, one thing, and one thing I love about Islam is that, is that um, there's no images there's no of anybody. Images. You don't go and make images of prophets. You don't go and make images of Muhammad. You don't go and make images of Jesus. And you don't make images of nobody. Because if you do that, we're having the same problem we're having right now. Even a painting can't 100% accurately predict what, or even tell future generations this is what that person looked like. Even though the paintings might be detailed, this isn't exactly what the person looked like. So my whole thing is, I've always known that Jesus was was uh colored i always knew uh moses was colored i mean the whole message of jesus was destroyed by paul when he told the jews not to obey the old testament no more but jesus said to obey the old testament laws and whoever tells you not to they're an enemy well what do y'all think about this man y'all comment down below do y'all think jesus is white or do y'all think he was colored y'all comment down below catch on next episode Okay, now I know some of y'all are mad because he said colored, honey. Please pay attention. <laughs> but here's the thing. I want you to also pay attention. Now, now he said that was just a white guy with a beard. <laughs> ah, just another woman said he said he was colored. What color was he colored? Well, he already said that he was black. He already said that the Muslims believe that he's black and that Moses was black. Okay? Okay. <laughs> But at the end of the day, I but find it all very day, interesting. I okay. Very interesting. I find it all very interesting. So, you know, some people are willing to embrace it and accept it, the truth for what it is. And while some people are butthurt, bothered, and been out of shape and clearly about to pass out, 
Like no. Karen getting all sick Karen like that. All sick like that. Bibia said Mexicans Bibia call us colored Mexicans family. Call us okay, family. that's what they call okay. us. Uh, so, um, so, um, Karen was so Karen sick was so as her sick. demons were trying to, were you, trying know, to uh, you know, stand uh, there stand and there. listen to this and man listen talk, to telling, the man talk the telling the truth. Telling the truth. Her demons just made her, her almost pass made out. Made I just want you all to pay attention. I just want you all to pay attention. I just want you all to pay attention. Uh, Rick said, I'm not uh, mad at color. He's at, at a level of ignorance. You know, this is what you they know, have. What, they have uh, uh, what is the word? They have indoctrinated some people to call us. Even now, when they say people of color, it's the same thing. When you say people of color, when you're talking about blacks, Latinos, Mexicans, and all of that, you're still saying the same thing. That's that's the same thing as color, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, it's the same okay, thing, it's the same right? Thing. Just a different way right? of saying it. Way uh, so saying with that all being said, it was a point that I wanted to make about what the, something the young man said in that video. I can't remember. I can't remember. Uh, it slipped my mind. Uh, it slipped my mind. Something that he said. That he but nonetheless, said. there you but have it. There okay, you have a lot of people okay. are upset in their feelings. They're saying they're that it doesn't matter what color he was. But if in fact it did matter, why has he always been depicted as someone who looks European? Someone who looks European. As someone who doesn't, look, someone like who us, doesn't okay? look like us, okay? And so please pay attention. Reggie so says, I know her demons Reggie were mad and, and tried to choke her out to stop her from listening. <laughs> oh, you all are crazy. Dorada said, Alexa, play weak, play weak at the knees by Steve Aronson. <laughs> I mean, I just find it also interesting. Don't get mad now. Like, why are you mad at the truth? Why are you mad at the truth? Okay? Okay? D-Nice is about truth. Says, oh, boy, was incorrect about Paul. Like, most people, Paul never said the Old Testament was done away with. That's what the point I wanted to make, beloved. Thank you for saying that. That's the point that I wanted to make. I couldn't remember my point. So... When he, so, said when he said that Paul told them to Paul do away with the Old Testament, and then Jesus said to follow the New Testament, and he said, whoever tells you not to is your enemy, I want you to pay attention to that, because that's what I told you. I said, now, they don't want you to follow the Old Testament. The Old Testament says an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Now, the New Testament says turn the other cheek. Now, that's absolutely why they don't want you to read that. Please pay attention. Please pay attention. Okay, please pay attention. Okay, they don't want you reading that, that you read because it's that literally because telling you literally to, be to be docile, not to defend yourself. Not to defend yourself. Okay? Okay? And so with that all being and said, so that all being said, I'm going to go ahead. And I'm here's the thing. Ahead, and here's the thing. Another thing is, Another you know, when they try to demonize try to Hitler demonize and all that stuff and say all these nefarious things about him, first of all, the United States is the one who gave him and his regime the label of Nazi. Okay, second of all, when they um say all this stuff about him, hold on, hold on. The Arabs know the truth, the but Arabs don't say anything, anything don't but the new alliances, they, the they will eventually tell the truth, too. They could have just said small hats, a shim, but they kept quiet, too. Okay? Mary said, I'm not colored, I'm black, okay? I'm just drenched in melanin. Oh, and here's another thing I want to tell you all. You notice in the Bible when it describes Jesus, it said his eyes were red like fire. When it says his eyes were red like fire, I want you all to pay attention because this is something that many people don't know. Now, look at my eyes. Sometimes people say, oh, queen, your eyes, the whites of your eyes look red. The whites of your eyes are dark. Uh, do you have, are you sick? You know, you need to go get your liver checked and all this. Here's the thing. People who have problems with their liver develop jaundice, which turns the whites of the eyes, the uh, sclera, it turns it to yellow. That's a sign of illness. My eyes are not, have any, nothing to do with my health. With my I'm going to, I go to the I doctor and once a year I go to get an eye exam. Here's the eye thing eye though, what many people don't know. know. Many people don't some, know. Black people, some black people and some people drenched heavily in melanin, your eyes will start to develop melanin. I want y'all to pay attention. You will start to get melanin in the whites of your eyes. That's what that is. And it's nothing, you know, it's nothing dangerous. It's nothing, you know, that's um a problem or have anything to do with your health. Okay, so 
Okay. Some of y'all don't know some that. Some of y'all don't know that. Y'all right? Right. As a matter of fact, some of Bussy Reek's fact, minions Bussy tried to clown me. One tried of them tried to clown, clown me when I was going in on Bussy Reek about a year or so ago. Talking about, oh, you have jaundice. I don't have jaundice. My eyes don't, my eyes don't even look yellow. Eyes eyes don't even but at the end of the day, they have melanin in them. And the whites of my eyes have melanin. And a lot of black people start to develop that. Okay? And you can look it up, do the research. It's nothing abnormal. It's very normal for black people. In fact, I feel blessed. Okay? Because the more melanin I have about myself, the better. Please pay attention. Okay, I just want y'all to know that. I just want y'all to know that. Vince I am said facts, Vince queen, okay? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Um, Sister Truth said, that's Our true, Sister queen. Said, Thank that's you. True, queen. So you know why people try to clown you know me, honey, at the end of the day, I'm melanin and blessed, and that's all it is. All right? Uh, East, East uh, meets West is exactly, East queen. East melanin East is the default. Exactly. exactly. Okay, Mary Evans okay. said also. Okay, so, okay, so listen, I hope you all enjoyed so that, presentation. that presentation. Y'all see how some people are y'all mad, but hurt, sad, but out of shape, and all of that. But the truth is the truth, and it will continue to be revealed. Okay, some people will unfortunately be on the wrong side of history. Some people will unfortunately stay stuck in cognitive dissonance and will also continue to be a victims of Stockholm Syndrome. Some of our own people, like the man I told you who said uh, that. That this, is okay. this is divisive. When has it ever not been divisive, not specifically been as it pertains to us? To us. He didn't think it was divisive for them to have a white Jesus, Jesus, which is the biggest image of wanting supremacy. He didn't find that problematic, but bringing out a black Jesus, the truth of who Jesus really looked like, according to even the Bible, is a problem. I want you all to pay attention, because that's some of our own people, a sad to say. With that all being said, thank you, Reggie. Reggie said, great broadcast. Okay, so with that all being said, I love you all to life. And listen, for those of you who didn't see the Christ Consciousness video on the Spiritual Channel, I'll re up Upload that for you all to make it premiere today, okay? Uh, so with that all been said, everyone please like and share this video, okay? Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Be sure to click the notification bell and click the word all so you're notified each time the Queen Goddess goes live. Also, please make sure to double check that you're still, to ensure that you're still subscribed if you have not been receiving your notifications. All right, so I love you all to life. Each one, teach one. That's how we grow and thrive. Do something productive, constructive, but never destructive. And always remember Remember, beloved, to keep the most high first in your life. One of mine is your son. They show no love for the queen. Why you hating on me? Is it cause I'm free and I got Malcolm X in my jeans? I got dreams like King Luther. Shed blood like Kusa. You ain't helping my people. I ain't got nothing to say to ya. I want all the smoke like Uka. Talking reparations. America won't be great until they give us compensation. I'm like, uh. I'm the hottest right now. That's See right. a bunch of lames out here trying to jock on my style. They be doing too much. I'm the queen, it's too easy. It's like they all at Popeyes, how they be talking so greasy. I just sit back and laugh while these haters get mad. So nefarious, how they don't want my pockets with chatter. I tell them they can do better. These snakes in the grass can leave a bite on your ass. Cause y'all be trusting too fast. I got my foot on the gas. Other one on they necks Dropping receipts on haters You better show some respect I'm never facing regrets We only facing the threats Running through every challenge Like a relay break, no sweat It's a cold game So I got that blanket with me Now that my people awaken Ain't no going to sleep I do not play by my peace This time I'm playing for keeps You talking slick But when I see you like them is We gon' be And now I got gold all in my skin all in my blood. my blood, kings all in my circle. You touch one of mine, you done. They show no love for the queen. Why they hating on me? Is it cause I'm free and I got Malcolm X in my jeans and I got gold all in my skin? God all in my blood, kings all in my circle. You touch one of mine, you done. They show no love for the queen. Why they hating on me? Is it cause I'm free and I got Malcolm X in my jeans and I got.